Christ to be honored to our pastor. Amen. To moderator. Amen. More to Pastor Cook. Amen. Pastor Smith. Amen. Thank you. Reverend Diggs. Thank Evangelist you. Nelly. Thank Old Dickens. You. To my wife. Amen. To Mother Staples. Amen. To Evangelist Neil. Man, awesome word of God. We have in church this morning, ain't we? Amen. Amen. We have in church. Amen. Everybody looking at me just anticipating. There we go. So, it's a blessing to be here. Amen. It's a blessing to be here. Amen. Because this is the day that the Lord has made. Amen. Let it rejoice and be glad. Amen. 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 Whatever we went through, this is a blessing. Amen. To see a beautiful day outside. Amen. 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 The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Amen. Because the Lord have anointed me to preach good tidings unto the people. Mm -hmm. He has sent me to bind up the broken party, to proclaim liberty to the captives, the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, and the vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. Amen. Father God, we come to the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your richly blessings, Father God. Father God, thank you, Lord, for the service, Father God. Thank you, Lord, for your anointing falling down on your people, Father God. Father God, I ask you to anoint the message, Father God. Let it be all of you, Father God, and none of me, Father God. Because, Father God, we want somebody to come running down the aisle asking, what must I do to be saved, Father God? We'll forgive you the praise, the honor, and the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Let you turn your Bibles to Psalms. Psalms 30. Psalms 30. It's a very familiar scripture. But I hope you get something out of this word today to uplift your spirit. Very familiar scripture. We always like to quote it. Sometimes we'll be quoting the wrong thing. Psalms 30. If you have it, say amen. amen. If you're looking for it, say wait a minute. Amen? amen. Because we want to start out together. If we start out together, I believe we can finish together. Amen? amen. amen. Psalms 1 through 5. I will extol thee, O Lord. For thou hast not made my foes to rejoice over me. O Lord my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. O Lord, thou hast brought up my soul from the grave. Thou hast kept me alive, that I should not go down to the pit. Sing unto the Lord, O he saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. For his anger endures but a moment, and his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy, but joy, but joy coming in the morning. Amen. 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 You may be 
sin. But look to somebody on the, on the left or the right. And said, don't wait, don't wait. Until, the until the battle is over. Shout now. Shout now. Don't, wait. don't wait until the battle is over. Shout, Shout now. Shout oh, now. hallelujah. That's the word. Let you know. You don't wait till your problem is over. That's right. Give God a shout now. When you're going through your troubles, you're going through your sickness. Hallelujah. God is in control. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 As David was, this is a Psalms of dedication when he dedicated his new house. Amen. And first thing he said, I will extol thee. Yeah. Extol meaning I will give praises highly. Like uh, Reverend Smith said, when you look back over your life and you know what God has brought you from, All right. God has brought you through, Man. you can say, thank you, Jesus. Or oh, I can say, God, you've been a good guy. Yes. Right. You've been an excellent God. Yeah. Why? You brought me through sickness. Yeah. You brought me through trials and tribulations. Amen. I can tell you, God, Thank you. Oh, hallelujah. God, oh, give you praise. And as David does himself, give God thanks for the great deliverance he had worked for him. He said, I will extol thee, O Lord. I will exalt thy name. I will praise thee as one, on, as one high and lift it up. And he said, I will do what I can to advance the interests of thy kingdom among men. Man, right. Why? Right. If you look at verse, verse, verse 1, he said, why will I give you praises, God? Hallelujah. Because he said, thou has, has lifted me up. Because I'm a child of God. He lifted he put me on a pedestal. Mm. Hallelujah. That the devil, he can't do me anything. He can't do me no harm. Amen. He can't do me no harm. Amen. Because when I was out there in the world, yeah. God, the devil tried to do me harm. Amen. Hallelujah. But he couldn't do me no harm. Why? Because I was standing on the prize of the saints. Amen. I was standing on the prize of my mother. Amen. I was standing on the prize of my father. Hallelujah, because he has lifted me up. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Uh -huh. It says right here in verse 1, it says, And has not made my, fo my foes to rejoice over me. Uh -huh. Do you get that? That little one word, N-O-T, not. Now, if you read that scripture, and if you look at it without putting not in it, and it would say, has made my foes to rejoice over me. Oh, hallelujah. But that word not is, is included in that scripture. Hallelujah. The devil, he had no victory over me. The devil had no victory over you. But if you don't believe it, Oh, hallelujah. He got victory over. Huh. What you saying, Reverend Lewis? Hallelujah says in Romans, the 8th chapter, the 15th verse, we can call God our Go Father. Uh -huh. Our Father. Huh. Meaning that I am adopted son yeah. of God. Yeah. I got victory. I got favor yeah. in God. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. You have to know for yourself that you are a child of God. Amen. As we talked about in Sunday school this morning, you can't say, I'm a child of God because mama was a child of God. Daddy 
was a child of God. No, you got to say for yourself that I am a child of God. Because if I am a child of God, I mean that I was adopted into the royal family. Oh, hallelujah. I was adopted. Hallelujah. I'm an heir of God. And I'm a joint heir with Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. I can speak anything, ask anything of my Father in Jesus' name. And he will do it. Amen. Amen. I'm going to say amen right there. I'm going to say amen right there. Hallelujah. Because when I was sick and afflicted, and I was on my bed of affliction. I called on God. And he answered my prayer. Amen. So David said, see David said all by himself, Lord I remember when I was going against that at time. Hallelujah. You gave me strength to knock him down. When I was going against that bear, you gave me strength. Hallelujah. To kill that bear. I was going through my trials and tribulations. You was always there. Hallelujah. When the Malachites came, hallelujah, it took my family, yeah. took my men's family. We all cried for a minute. Hallelujah. But when I prayed to you, you said you shall yes, Lord. recover all. Oh, yes. oh, hallelujah. That's the word. That's, that's, better, that's, better than, that, that's better than State Farm. That's better than all state. All state, we say you in the good hands. Hallelujah. But when you got God in your life, you are in the better hand. Amen. 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 Oh, that's why you can shepherd. Right? That's when David started shepherding right there. That's when he said, I will extol thee. Oh, hallelujah. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. If you get that word right there in the, in the first, that first verse, hallelujah, you can go on to the second verse. Hallelujah. Because you know what it's saying in the word? No weapon. That formed against me shall prosper. Amen. I believe you don't believe that. Amen. You don't believe that. Amen. If somebody started talking about you, you still get scared and run on home. Amen. Huh? Well, you said no weapon no formed weapon. against me. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. So we have, uh, my brother Reggie and I was coming from the game last night. And well, I told my brother, I told him, I said, let's he said, we want to go up Beaver Avenue. And I said, no, let's go up East Street. <laughs> so we went up East Street, you know, looking over to see his you know, pastor's light was on. But it wasn't. But we was going up the hill. It was a big crowd of people. Big crowd of people. These young people, they were standing in the road. We was, as we was getting close, they started arguing. They started cursing. As we was going closer, and this, this car tried to back up out of the driveway, now Brother Reggie got that lead foot anyway. Yeah. I told him, step on it, Reggie. <laughs> and he stepped on it a little bit. You know, he got by the car because the car was coming out. But they still was cursed. They were like they was going at each other. And one, and Reggie saw one brother with a gun. I said, Lord, have mercy. Mm -hmm. As we, but we was walking through the valley of the shadow of death. Amen. 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 We got to the stop sign. The devil tried to get and took us out. But God said, no weapon. No weapon. No weapon. No weapon. That's formed against me. They can put it up. They can put it in their hand. But God got my back. God is my shield. God is my buckle. God is my way. Out of nowhere. He's my help in the time of trouble. Oh, hallelujah. They saw Reggie saw the gun. But if God couldn't do anything with it. Because I was telling them, brothers and sisters, bullets don't have no name. Bullets don't have any name on them. You know, when sometimes when there's a fight, you want to go see it? Well, when somebody pull out a gun, Amen. you don't know where they're shooting at. We, get, we was innocent bystanders. But the devil could have used that bullet to took either one of us out. Amen. But God said, no weapon. No oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. That's 
like to say thank you, Jesus, this morning. Because David said, Thou hast not how I let my foes to rejoice over me. Amen. Amen. How do that when we go down to verse 2? He said, Oh Lord. He said, Oh Lord, my God, I cry unto thee. Oh, hallelujah. And thou hast healed me. That's why when we was down in our pastor's room, hallelujah, we prayed, we, I read that scripture to him. Oh, hallelujah. Because he, when my pastor will always say, he would tell people before, I had a stroke in two seats. Oh, hallelujah. When he got sick this time. Oh, hallelujah. When we went up there on Saturday, I shook his hand, but he didn't remember me. Hallelujah. But on Monday, two days after Saturday, hallelujah, we was talking to him. He started praising God. He started praising God. And I believe his wife said, the doctor said, he had no form, no evidence of a strong. Amen. He said, I cried unto thee, and thou healed me. You tell the devil. You may have got me that the last time. But God healed me from that sickness. He healed me from the diabetes. He healed me from high blood pressure. I might not have, I might have the symptoms sometimes of diabetes. But I'm not claiming diabetes. I might have the symptoms of high blood pressure. But I'm not claiming, hallelujah, high blood pressure. Why? Because I called onto my God. And he healed me. He spoke the word. Why? In Isaiah 53, 5, by his stripes. Not that I'm going to be healed. I am. And it says right here in verse 2, I be asked the ED after on oh, here. As the ED. What that meaning? Past tense. Amen. 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 You already here. Hallelujah. You already blessed. Yes, All you got to do is speak the word. Yes. Be why you tell people, I am blessed yes. and highly blessed. But if you don't get that in your spirit, yes, uh-huh. you know, Christians, you know, they think that you got to be all humble. Uh-huh. You know, you got to just barely survive. Uh-huh. You know, you got to have, instead of having a Cadillac, uh-huh. you're going to drive a Pinto. Uh-huh. It's not so. Amen. It's not so. Amen. If the dope man can drive a, a Mercedes, why not a man of God can drive a Mercedes? Amen. If somebody out there in the world can drive a Cadillac, yes, sir. why can't I drive a Cadillac? Amen. My father owned the cattle on a thousand hills. All the silver belonged to my God. Amen. Now why I gotta go down with a plus face on my on my on my face? Why do I gotta walk around in Walmart? Uh-huh. Acting all safe. That's right. And I'm supposed to be a child of God. I got victory. Yeah. Oh, you don't hear me. Come on, let talk to these people. I got victory yeah. in Jesus. Yeah. Why? Because yeah. he brought me from. He brought me out. He blessed me. That's how David was saying. I cried unto my Lord. And he healed me. Hallelujah. If you go down to verse 3. He said, oh, Lord, thou hast brought up my soul from the grave. Hallelujah. You know what that's saying? Hallelujah. That rich and Johnson haven't came and got me yet. Hallelujah. That's right. Durgan haven't picked my body up yet. Durgan or Richard Johnson. I'm still alive. 
I might be on my bad affliction, but I'm still alive. I'm still here. I might got a headache, but I'm still here. My God, as long as I'm here, I know that God is able. God is able. It might be at the last minute of my life, but I know God is able. God is able to heal my body. Amen. God is able to bring me out of death. God is able to bring my children home. Amen. God is able. But if you don't believe that, if you don't believe that God is able to heal you, you'll stay sick. If you don't believe that God is able to bring you out of debt, you'll stay in debt. If you don't believe that God is able to bless you with finances, you'll stay broke. Because it's all in your mind. We, we said we need to think about church, how we speak over our life. When we get up in the morning, some of us say, I'm going to have a bad day. Why? Because that arthritis is tearing me up. Speak to your body and say, You should live and not die. Oh, I'll speak every day. I'm going to be blessed today. I speak, God, show up in my life. And show out. Grant me new mercies. Grant me new mercies today. That's how David was speaking. Because he said, Thou has kept me alive. I'm still alive. I'm still alive, church. I'm still alive, church. I'm still alive, church. I'm still alive. Somebody ask you, somebody ask you tomorrow, how you feeling? I'm still alive. As long as I'm alive. God is still able. As long as I put my life in God's hands, I'm still able. I'm rich. Hallelujah. I might not have a dollar in my pocket, but I'm going to tell you that I'm rich. Why I'm rich? Because my father is rich. All I do is ask my father. I need to help. I step by my father-in-law, my wife, Actually, one time, she needed two dollars for her daughter's medicine, and she asked him, "Dad, can you give me that two dollars?" He said, "Let's pray about it. <laughs> Let's pray about it." And she said, she started praying. Then she said, "Dad, can I get that two dollars?" He said, "Let's pray about it." But as he was saying, let's pray about it. But she still walked out the door. Daddy, can I get that two dollars? He said, let's pray about it. But she walked out that door without those two dollars. And what we were talking about that this morning, the spirit came to me and said, that's what we need to do. Let's pray about it. When something going to come on in your life, instead of running to your brother or your sister, or still running to somebody and begging them for some money, fall on your knees and pray about it. Pray. Hallelujah. That God will send somebody to help you. Amen. Don't just say, I, I'm, I'm here and I need help. Nobody will help me. Well, why would I cry to them and they say I don't have it? But you're not asking your father. Amen. Your father's in heaven. Ask him for those two dollars. And I believe that somebody came and gave her the money. Hallelujah. To get her daughter's medicine. See, God works in mysterious ways. The thing that we try to ask God for, he might say, I might not help you in that way. But I will take care of that's why you gotta keep continuing to God the praises. You gotta continue to speak to yourself. If God give you, if the doctor give you a bad report, don't go nowhere and cry. 
Fall on your knees and pray about it. Don't worry, crime is not going to happen. You guys like David. He said, you have kept me alive. He said, you blessed me. He said, you already have blessed me with time and time again. Yeah. That's why he said, I can pray. Hallelujah, he said, thou should not, I should not go down to the pit. Hallelujah, because you are keeping me alive. Yeah. You are blessing me time and time again. Right. Time and time again. We might not be worthy of God's blessing, but it's still blessings. Over and over and over. Amen. 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 That's when we get down. Hallelujah. But when we come into church, we came into church. You don't come into church with a sound face. You don't come into church just saying they should be happy that I'm here. Amen. 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 They should be happy that I'm here. I'm going to say, sing unto the Lord. Sing unto the Lord, all ye saints of his. And give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. We serve a holy God. We serve an awesome God. We serve a God that hung the stars in the sky. We serve a God, hallelujah, that planted the sun, hallelujah, that shine by day. We serve a God that planted the moon, the shine by night. We serve a God, oh, hallelujah, we serve a God, hallelujah, that made the sea, that made the fishes in the sea. We serve a God, oh, hallelujah, that made the bird, the birds in the air, that made the animals, hallelujah. That's what we serve. Our God is awesome. Our God is amazing. Yes, Our God is powerful. Yes, oh, hallelujah. Yeah. Our God is a healing God. Yes, yeah. Our God is a way making God. Yeah. Our God is an awesome God. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. If you don't believe me, yes, hallelujah, just wait till you see Pastor Nelson E. State. That's a miracle right there. That's a miracle right there. Because Friday night, hallelujah, he had his sickness. Saturday, he didn't remember anybody. But Sunday, he started remembering. Hallelujah. And it's Monday, he was rejoicing in the Lord. Now, God is an awesome God. God is a way making God. God is a healing God. So now, we get down to our last, our text. Amen. See, you had to be, David had to give God the praise. God had, David had to give God the glory, didn't he? Amen. David did it. He had to let the people know that he's an awesome God. Amen. He's a way-making God. Amen. 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 They said in verse 5, I made the verse this, this morning. How long you said? For his anger endures but a moment. And sometimes we used to quote that and say, his anger <laughs> endures for a moment. It don't say it. It said his anger endures but a moment. Amen? Amen. Amen. It's like with your children. You have children, or when you remember when you was growing up, Amen. and you stole the cookies out the cookie jar. Amen. And your mom would get mad. They said, who stole the cookies? Out the cookie jar. Then everybody, if I don't hear nobody telling, I'm going to whoop everybody in the house. Huh? Now I used to get a lot of whoopings for my younger brother. He used to do a lot of things. And he wouldn't say anything. And he said, if I don't, if nobody say anything, Nobody come and confess. I'm going to whip both of y'all. He wouldn't say a word. Well, he know. Well, I'm going to get a whip and Steve, you're going to get a whip and too. See, the, my other siblings, they was already, they was all grown and out the house. And, but God said, all you have to do is repent. Repent. 
of your sins. Amen. Repent of your sins. A lot of people would do anything, but they would not say I'm sorry. That's right. A lot of people would say anything to you. Would do anything to you. But they would not say I'm sorry. You know why? They would think time would ease all tension. You know what I'm saying? They say if I do this to that sister or that brother, if I don't say speak to that person for a while. So when the holidays come, or whatever comes, we all friends again. <laughs> See, but you can't do that with God. Amen. You just can't come and ask God, heal my body. But you don't want to repent. You can't say, Jesus, save my soul. But why? First, you got, what's the first thing you have to do? You got to say, Lord. I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. I repent of my sin. I repent of my iniquity. I got to let him know. And then that moment, oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, if y'all have got that, y'all start shouting. Because it says, it's for his anger. Endure, but a moment. It is favor. Don't you want God's favor? Do you want God's favor? Do you really want God's favor? When you got God's favor, as Reverend Smith said, if you got God's favor, you will get that front parking space. If you got God's favor, somebody will come to you and give you a blessing. Well, I mean, you ask. If you got God's favor, you don't know you will get that promotion on your job. Even if you don't deserve it. It says right here. It says favor is life. Meaning he can, he can continue all night long. 
if you allow. Right. It might do it all half the night yeah. if you allow. Mm. Because you have to allow weeping to come into your life. Yes, <laughs> God already healed you. He already granted your favor. Yes, now you get ready to start weeping. The Lord has blessed you. Man. The Lord has blessed you over and over Man. and over Man. and over. Man. The devil say one thing to you. Lord said, the devil said, I got you. You start crying. Oh, Lord. Now, why are you going to do this to me? Why? And I tell the, told the Lord, told the Lord, told the people that you heal my body. And I still have these aches and pains. Oh, Lord, why does that have to happen to me? See, it might only happen to me, did Y'all are good. It don't happen to you. It don't happen to you. But when you get that bad news, you get that bad report, why you go somewhere and sit down and say, I don't know why God is leaving me. I don't know why God left me because I have a little sickness in my body. I don't know why God had to do this to me. Why God, why my children had to have to be rebuilt? Why my child have to go through this? Why do I have to go through this, Lord? Why do I have to keep on going trouble after trouble? Why do I don't have good things? Why I don't get the promotion on my job. Why, hallelujah, that we have to go through this time and time again. That's weeping. That's weeping. That's weeping, Mount Zion. Now we just sung all, all day. We praise the Lord all day. We just told God that he is, he is awesome, God. We told him that he is Lord over our life. Mm -hmm. We told God that he is the king and king, king of kings. Amen. The Lord of lords. Yes. We told God that he's a mighty God. Amen. That he's an awesome God. He's worthy to be prayed. Amen. Mm -hmm. We told, we said, we spoke it, that he said in his word, he would never leave us. Amen. No forsake. Amen. But when a problem comes in our lives, we want to start crying all night. Now, Zion, let me tell you this. You don't cry. You might not be shedding any tears. But you're crying. You know how you know how you're crying? How you know how you're crying? Something that you were used to doing in the church, you stop doing. If you used to sing in the choir, somebody spoke something bad to you. You got out of the choir. You used to serve on our ship over. You went to give somebody a fan and they gave a bad look at you. You started sitting down. You used to do a lot of things for the Lord. But you stopped doing it. Why? Because you started weeping. That's why you're allowed weeping to a door in your night season. Amen. And brothers and sisters, night season is a long season. Amen. Night season Amen. is a long season. Amen. You think winter had a night nice season? You think winter was a bad time? Don't, have, don't go through your night nice season. Don't go through your night nice season and say, when you we quote that scripture, weeping may endure for a night. But joy comes in the morning. Amen. You say that some, someday I'm going to get blessed. Amen. Someday Amen. I'm going to get out of my truck. Right. Someday, someday. Go, something's going to happen for me. Amen. Someday. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to be able to get my new car. Amen. Someday. Amen. Well, let me tell you, Mount Zion. Let me tell you. And I'm getting ready to close. <laughs> Hallelujah. Weeping man, mm -hmm. I'm going to stop crying, having pity on myself. Amen. I'm going to start crying with joy. Amen. I'm going to start crying with joy. Amen. Why? 
Weeping may endure for the night, but joy cometh in the morning. I don't have to wait till the morning time to start praising God. I can start praising God, hallelujah, at 1201, in the middle of my storm. I can start praising God. Why? Because God, hallelujah, is the head of my life. I can start praising God in the middle of the valley. Because why? Because God is with me. He said he'll never leave me. He said I will be your present help in a time of trouble. So I don't have to wait till 6 o'clock in the morning. Oh, hallelujah, to give God the praise. 1201 is the next day. 1201 is in the middle of the night. 1201 is still in night season. But you don't have to wait till the sunshine break. You can start praising him right now. And you can start praising God right now. Why? Well, I want to tell you this and I'm going to close. It was a man. You might know him. Or even though you might, hear, you might have heard of him. He went around. He healed the sick. He gave sight to the blind. He fed 5,000 men. He walked on water. Oh, hallelujah. He fed 5,000 with five loaves and two fish. Do you know this man? I believe that's what I'm saying. You might have heard of him. You don't know. He went around. Brother Dixon, Dickon Dixon. It was a man in his grave for four days. And he called him back to life. And he said, Lazarus, Lazarus, come forth. Y'all might have heard of Do you know that man? Do you know that man? What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. That man right there. He was out with his friends one night. He was in. He was in a garden praying. His brother said he was praying. Hallelujah. He asked God, his father, that this cup pass from me. Because why? Flesh came in. But he said, nevertheless, not my will. But thine will be done. After that, hallelujah, the Holy the Father sent an angel down to the garden to give him strength. After he gave him strength, and now that night now, one of his friends, one of his close friends, one of the twelve that he picked out, he betrayed him. They took him at night. They took him and led him to the cross. And he died on that cross. He died on the cross. But early, 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 not midday, early early Sunday morning, early early Sunday morning, he got up. He got up. Not with some power. He got up with all power. His name is Jesus. Long as Jesus sitting on the right hand of the throne, everything will be all right. Mother James, I can stop crying now. Because why? Jesus is in control. Jesus is in control. Jesus is my Savior. Jesus is my provider. Jesus is my way maker. Jesus is my healer. Do you understand that? So why? And I'm getting ready to call, but I want you to get this. I want you to get this. You don't have to weep all night. In the midst of your storm, start giving God the praise. Amen. Start giving God the glory. Amen. Start giving God all because he's worthy. He can step in on your behalf. Doors of the church is open. Now, I want you to get this. I want you to think about this. I want you to close your eyes. Close your eyes. Stop looking at me. Close your eyes. Now, it's right here. If you're here, see, you can only stand 
stand in front of God yourself. Mama can't stand for you. Daddy can't stand for you. Pastor can't stand for you. And you know, I can't say that you're not coming to church. You're coming to church. You're coming to church. But are you saved? Are you saved? If you die today, if you die right now, where will you be going? Where will you be going? If you die right now, will you be going to heaven? If you're going, if you know that you're going to heaven, raise your hand. This is not the time. This is not the time to be looking at your phone. This is not the time to be talking to somebody else. You should know for yourself. If you didn't raise your hand, brothers and sisters, you're not doing anything for me. If you want to be stubborn because I'm up here. You know what I'm saying? God giving you a word. Because because if you're standing here and if you don't want to raise your hand, you telling God no. You telling God no. And that's why when things come on your life, you question. You question God. But you don't have to question God if you know that you know that God has saved you. God has granted you faith. You don't have to come, you don't have to cry. I'm saying if you're here and you want to come to the Lord, don't worry about what your neighbor gonna say. Don't worry about if your neighbor gonna talk about you if you come up. That's all right. Yeah. You come up to the Lord. Yeah. You come to the Lord. Yeah. You press like the woman with the issue of blood. Mm-hmm. She had a she had a problem yeah. that her friends <laughs> didn't have. She was considered unclean. She was considered an outcast. She was considered unclean. She had to stay away from her family. She didn't get to raise her children while of her sickness. But when she saw Jesus, she didn't say, if I sin, I'll be healed. She pressed through the crack. And she touched the hem of his garment. If you're going through something right now, it's only you know between you and God. Don't stand. Don't stay in the same situation you're in. Don't stay. Don't stay in that same. If you know you did something against your sister or your brother, Go to them. If you know that you slow when it's in church, that we don't see you until next Sunday, come up. Because while we have Bible study, we have Sunday school. And you say, God, God, actually, what's your reason for not coming to the church only on Sunday morning? And you say, well, I got other things to do. God said, that's not enough. That's not enough. (laughs) We have to be faithful, don't we? We have to be faithful. Amen. We was taught. We was taught. When I was growing up, my mom went to church Wednesday, Monday night for mission me, Wednesday night for prayer me, Friday night for choir practice, Sunday morning. If we had Sunday evening church, we would, she came to Sunday evening church. We're not doing that, Mount Zion. We're not doing that. We come, in, we come in here on Sunday morning. We can't even get God. We can't even get God to honor. We come in here late. But we want God to show up on time in our situation. When we got a bill due, we want God, we pray to God, we want God to answer right in that right away. When you get a bad news. You want God to show up right then. 
But God asked you to come to his house. I got things to do. We need to pray. We need to pray. We need to pray. We need to pray, church. And I ask everybody, if you're a member of Mount Zion, I want you to come up front. Move that out. Move that out. If you're a member of Mount Zion, I want you to come up front. Why? I want people to stand in, for pastor statements. I want everybody to come together and stand in for our pastor. What God is 
going to do to you. Do for you. God want to bless you. He want to bless every one of us. But you have to be obedient. You got to stop being that one that is so that person cannot talk to. Amen. Then you shake the person, hold the person's hand. Now we all Mount Zion family. Amen. We all Mount Zion family. Listen. We all Mount Zion family. Do you know the person's name that's standing beside you? Really, do, do you know the person's name? Yes. What's her name? As we say, do you know the person's name? Yes. This is not the play. The devil will steal the word. When the word is given, the devil come and steal it immediately. And some words is given on stony ground. When something come up, the word is gone. Brother Dwight, come on down here. Come on down here. And we ask, why do I have problems here? Why do we go through the situation here? We might get shot for a moment. But when trouble comes, why are you at? But you ask that I'm a child of God. That's right. That's right. If you're a child of God, why you can't get along with your brother or sister? Yeah. Yeah. Why you can't get along? Yeah. Why you can't get along? Yeah. Yeah. All y'all talked about last Sunday was he talked about the, the, the laying on the hands. You gonna tell me if a person come up and want to be saved? You gonna tell them no? But you're supposed to be a child of God. And that's why you say you love the past. If past don't let me help, what would you do? Or you going to say, I'm waiting till you ask. Some of y'all, when my wife lost her father, people said, whatever you need me to do, ask. So I told him, come over here and wash my dish. Oh, you laughed. You were you playing. You said whatever you want to ask me to do. Right. God is saying, if I need you, That's right. some of y'all could be on usher board. Some of y'all could be in a junior church. We had matrons who is coming up. Miss Hill, First Lake, uh, Mother Stable. Who is our matron now? Who is the matron for these kids now? Who is the matron? Nobody want to step up. But we still want to praise God like we got. We give him God's service. I don't need no amen. But say that God anointed my message. God anointed my message. You don't have to have amen. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. The loudest sign is an empty trash. You see what I'm saying? The loud, make the loudest noise is the emptiest, the empty trash can. That's true. When that trash can is full, yes. you can't make no noise. That's right. But when that trash can is empty, you all are rallying and tatting and everything. Right. Because you're trying. You're trying to impress somebody. You're trying to tell somebody when you're saved. Thank you, Lord. When something come up on you. You can't even talk to your friends. You can't even talk to your brothers or your sisters. But we say we say. Amen. Amen. Speak in your heart. Speak with your spirit. Then I'm going to change. I'm going to do that. Say it and speak in your spirit. Say, Lord. 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 I want to do better. I want to do better. I want to come here on Wednesday night. I want to come here on early Sunday morning. I want to come here early Sunday morning. If anything they need me to do at the church, I will do it. If anything they need me to do at the church, I will do it. Bless Jesus. If anything that Pastor
pastor wants me to do at the church, I will do it. If anything that pastor wants me to do at the church, I will do it. All the people looking down, all the people looking around. Thank you, Lord. But if you really, I'm taking too, I'm taking so long. Am I taking too long? Am I taking too long? You want to go? Take your time. You want to go? Take your time. Bless Jesus. Bless God. That's why when Pastor come back, you want to work him to death again. You don't want to do anything for yourself. You want to work him to death. To death. But if he asks you to come back to church, you might have 10 people here. But you say, I love my pastor. I love the Lord. You have to be committed to the Lord. Amen. 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 Y'all need to get together. Amen. You've been praying too long. Get together. Do it after church. Don't have to do it now. If you got all of this, your brother or your sister, get together. Amen. Get together. Amen. Get together. Amen. That's right. I've been in churches where they ain't said a word. They ain't said a word. But when we needed their help, they was right there. They was right there. As a church, it works together. Amen. Amen. That's what we always said. Well, when we were back then, they used to do this and they used to do that. But you're here now. Yeah. That's right. Right. Hallelujah. Mr. Neil, Deacon Neil and Deacon, uh, Deacon uh, Uncle Bud, they was working. Amen. Uncle Billy, they was working. Yeah. They went and picked up the children. But we now in middle age, all we can say, we used to do that a long time ago. We still alive, church. We still alive. Thank you, man. We bow here and reverence you, God. Thank you, God. Honor you, give God. Praise to you, God. Father in heaven, we bow out here and reverence you. Praise to your name. Thank you, God, for your goodness, your praise, your love, God, and your mercy. We pray now, God, in Jesus' name, that the words that have been on the occasion, that will fall on the ears of those who come to God that have been intended for. Then, God, when all of this said and done, we must put this busy walk of life, close our Bible on our hymn books, God, to stay warm on board. For that great day in the morning, God, when you call us our Father in heaven and raise to reward, we want to hear your will for us say, well done. God, we thank you, Father in heaven, for blessing our path. Thank you, God, for blessing our path. God, we thank you, Lord, for blessing our path. We are asking you to bless our path. God, we thank you, Lord, for all the blessing him. And God, we thank you, Lord, for the miracle that you work in his life and all of our lives, God. We raise in our mind now, God. We want to praise you and glorify you. We want to thank you. And give you glory because God, we belong to you, Lord. We belong to you, God, and you belong to us. We hope that everybody knows, God, that we indeed are your children. And you, God, are our Father. We honor you, God. We praise you. We honor